Hello fellow cultivators, this video is a quest walkthrough for the newest quest chain that was added in the 2024 Chinese New Year update to a Terra Fimoto and it's called Illusion Root. So it can be triggered where you are, you know, as early as Chi Condensation or maybe even earlier as long as you are walking around in Huafeng region and you might find this person, you know, doing something, seem to be trapped and he's struggling to get himself free and he's asking us for help. So why interesting about this mission is in the beginning, so you can see that this guy is Golden Core Middle and uh, yeah, he's a rogue cultivator. I don't think, I think all his skills are just random. And is there anything interesting? Hmm. Well, doesn't seem to be, but he is actually a proper NPC. So yeah, and yeah, the interesting thing about this one is that you, there are a lot of options, but you can just simply click through in the very, in the like majority part of this quest chain, it does not really change anything. So for example, here we are actually, so we are actually talking about, yeah, how much are you going to pay us if we save you? Which is a bit weird because, oh, I mean, because I'm doing this because I can see more dialogue, but you could also just simply lend a hand. <laughs> it doesn't really change anything about the ending of this. But anyways, he tells you that, yeah, he will give us 10,000 spirit stones. So it doesn't really matter if we think before action or late because we still need to continue the quest. So let's just lend a hand, why not? And the guy vanishes. You know, this person doesn't seem to be a that great person from the very beginning. That seemed to be a more like a cheater type, doing some shady things. But he indeed gave us 9,999. And months later, we find him again. And uh, yeah, we got this one option to scold him. And uh, hmm. he's been searching and exploring the land. And he tells us about a treasure. Mm-hmm. You don't know what treasure is. Well... And yeah, we were asked for help. As usual in this kind of thing, we always feel like a very dumb person being used by other people. But that's how you have to do if you want to progress the quest. And look at him. He looks divine. It's really hard to imagine with his eyes though. But... Well, why don't we help him? I guess. Sure. So, again, just to show you that it doesn't matter if I choose to decline to help, this, this won't end the quest. Actually, he's still there, you know. You can still come back and continue the quest. That's what I mean by the choice are not that meaningful in the beginning, like 80% part of this quest. Until very end, then you have a meaningful choice and I will tell you which leads to different endings. Anyways, let's help him. And this time he tells us that he lives here. So if you open the map, you can do see this treasure diggers dwelling. So don't worry that you forget where he is because you can find him on the map. Let's go to his house. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. What kind of gift are you talking about? Again, if you decline the request, you won't end it you can still continue it. So it's the same thing. You just know there's no choice. So this reveals us a village nearby. Let's go to the village. But look at this guy though. Tell the village head to meet me here and bring me some good stuff. Hurry up, I don't like to wait. And the poor normal elderly man has the news before him. That doesn't sound a good thing to do. Hey, old man, and gift for my friend. And, wow. Please give us more, okay. Yeah, yeah, this guy gets just getting shadier and shadier. Doesn't look that great, right? You are really just, you know, not doing a good thing. 
Seriously, what are you doing? I mean, what do you mean by that? Yeah, okay, you, <laughs> you just admit it as well. Uh huh, that's a secret. Well, you shouldn't do that. Huh, you got an absolute righteous means. I don't trust you, to be honest. You look shady as hell. But now we don't get really a choice to reject him. And we get a breakthrough material to qi condensation, which is kind of useless. I mean, I am at qi condensation, that's why you get this. Otherwise, you will get a higher realm if you are doing this at a higher realm. And then we find two cultivators discussing about something. Someone is destroying the seals in Huafeng region. Hmm. And they are talking about their senior brother as well. And this is interesting. You all always find these two cultivators every time you progress with this guy, Zhuo Bingwei. I mean, Zhuo Bingwei will be the guy's name in my game. It will be different in your game because he is an NPC. And yeah, of course, you can talk with him, but there's nothing much you can do. I think one month later, we go to his house and we will find him again. Okay, this time I guess it's a proper exploration then. Okay, let's go to him. And a human formed monster. Hmm, that's not good. I guess we have to fight then. Oh, blood puppet. And look at this. Seriously, it feels like he did lead us into a trap. Oh well. Let's just finish this battle then. It is not too bad, even at chicanization. I mean, this uh, this quest do not have the enemy scales with your realm, so if you do it at a higher realm, it will be super super easy. But it is doable at chicanization, at least for now. Mm, I mean, I'll follow your decision. I don't know what's going on with this blood puppet. And we got the same treasure? Really, that's pretty bad luck. And we do get some talisman. That is nice. <laughs> we go back to see what did he do to the blood puppet. He just talks with him. I'm sorry to tell you I already dead. Existing in the mind of the monster must be boring. And he kills the blood puppet. Hmm. This person. And after this adventure with him, we again find these two cultivators talking about. Apparently, someone has again destroyed another seal. It's getting more and more like that our, I don't know, should we call it friend or not, is breaking the seal. And if we go back to the village, you will find him again. Oh, such a good thing, a tiny village. Yeah. This guy just gets shadier and shadier. Now, after this, during the entire time of the quest, if you go to the village, they won't talk to you. They were just saying, yeah, it's a nice place, but it's cursed by heaven. That's also interesting. What do you mean by cursed by heaven? Because that is literally the only thing which is make me feel like the guy might be into something. Not as shallow as it looks like that he's just a bad person. Now, when we look into his house, we're talking about some treasure, you know. If you dig some treasure out, it will draw the essence of the digger. Yeah, that doesn't look that good. It's this guy trying to, you know, use us for this purpose. Almost feels like that, right? Yeah, we might be used to dig out a thing and we'll harm us. Hmm. And he looks at us, smells. I mean, that doesn't look that good, we want to reject. But we can't reject. So let's go then. <laughs> like, sure. Alright, let's go to check out. We will not dig out a thing for him. Because he might join our life essence, right? Ah, oh, 
come on, already lead that into a trap with so many monsters. Now look at him, burning butt. I mean, it will be really funny if he, uh, Rui Destiny actually have burning butt. But this is actually pretty easy bad. We just used this uh, talisman he gave us. <laughs> and he's pretending to be dead. I guess so. Interest I paid. Yep, he's definitely pretending. <laughs> Time to go. Wow, this guy also has no shame. No shame. Like, what are you talking about these treasures? And did you plan such an escape though? Like, you know, maybe that so-called treasure will harm you. Are you trying to use me? Huh. Okay, he said he will pay a huge price. Interesting. Maybe he's not trying to harm us, otherwise he won't be so honest with us. Sure. And we get some, you know, comprehension and learning materials, which is great. And of course, we see these two cards we're talking again, since we apparently broke another seal. And this time we do see their senior brother, you know, who had different colored clothes. Okay. A month later, we come to Zhou Bingwei's house and we see that senior brother is just looking for something. They are getting close to him. They are about to catch him one day. I mean, have nothing to do with me. Okay, he's not there. He went for another exploration. And great thing is we get animatic stone. That's nice. And we also get some special elixirs. Ah, not the useful one though, you know, the chi gathering one. So we find this guy again. I guess that's go then, since we can't really just decline it. But you know, people are looking for you. You might be find out soon. Alright. He looked preoccupied. Interesting. Like, what happened to you? Hmm. I mean, if you're not in a good state, you know, we can wait. Okay. So here we get some this thing, which is actually quite useful. Not only invisible elixir is good, but also that hallucination elixir is very good. And uh, here we just saw him again. He's talking about a brother. Interesting. Yeah, they are trying to prevent you because you are breaking the seal. And what is this brother you're talking about? So this is an example using the hallucination elixir at Origin Spirit when you have to deal with nine tails. So it's really effective as you can see. Now previously you cannot get this until you reach reborn because that when you get the ritual. Now with this quest you can get this pill set. Just look at how fast it kills the Nine Tails. I mean, I know in my elixir, elixir guide that it's useless, but that's for reward monsters. For Nine Tails, it's really, really good. Anyways, sorry to interrupt there, but now we come back to the quest itself. Because I really think that Hallucination Elixir was surprisingly useful from this quest. Now we find him again. He says, yeah, let's go to another realm. Why not? I mean, sure. And, <laughs> you know, because I trigger this around this region, I, I always have to go through this dangerous forest zone. But as usual, there's nothing to talk about. This guy runs away and we will have to fight monsters as usual. There's nothing new. <laughs> so, yep, just continue dealing with it pretty fast. And he said we don't need to fight this time. Of course, you don't need to fight. I was the one fighting. Seriously. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, this time it actually gave me a proper, you know, thing. It's useful for us to break through the golden core, but again, I'm already at the golden core if you look at me. 
His treasure is always underwhelmed. And okay. Oh, he's sad. And of course, we find these two cultivators again, and this time they are really close to that his room. Oh, he was caught. That is not good. Okay, he escaped. I mean, I don't know why, but now I start to feel for the guy. Maybe just because he cried, and about his brother, etc. But I always thought he's a bad person. And okay. Then, one month later, we find someone. Coming towards his house again. I guess we need to check it out. What happened? Yeah, it's that guy, the senior brother. Like, who are you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Even I can't enter the house, to be honest. It posed a threat to Hua Feng. Okay. Breaking the seals? Yeah, yeah, I know he's doing that. Hua Feng of Imperial. I mean, is it that serious? I don't know. Okay, he could put Hua Feng in danger. Sure. So here, if for the first time, we actually got a proper mission. That's, it, that's the game telling you it's an important thing. So save. Before you make a choice. So now again, if you go back to his house, you can read something. You know, there's a clip, and then uh, yeah, something called illusion root, a treasure. And he had done a lot of research, apparently. And finally, there's a handwritten records. Okay, so we get this handwritten pages. All right. Now. This is one important choice. If we choose, I mean, if we choose live for now, we don't get it. But we still back to this choice. If we go for let him be, we will reach a bad ending. Okay, that is the first bad ending choice here. If we choose not to let him be, okay, not this guy. <sighs> There are always something going on here. Now see this icon here. Apparently, there's a battle here. Okay. So a monster has come out. Yeah, I think Jobin will have released it. But he also joined in a fight and got wounded. Interesting. He must be eliminated. So yeah, they are just going to look for Jobin Wei again, and that's the ending of this quest. If you chose to let him be. You see that village and his house all vanished. Of course, we will choose different ending, so don't choose let him be, but choose go for clarification. Okay, and to be honest, here you get another quest, which means save again because you might still end up in a bad ending. So save and then go to him, or or we can just read what is going on here. Let's read this hundred and pages. Okay, there's a treasure. Okay, some memories. Oh, this looks familiar. Okay, he was trapped. Some guy called Yunyuan come to help him. Hmm. <laughs> I need you to find something for me. Give me your price. Okay, you know what that that means. So then they become sworn brothers, and this guy is looking for something. Yun Yuan guy, and our I don't know friend or not person is helping him, but he's also worried about him. Well, I guess that is what happened between me and Zhou Bingwei. Uh huh. So he does want to repay people. 
with gratitude. Okay. So he's his brother who is looking for the illusion root and he's obsessed with it. And his brother is dead. Or dying. At least now he accepted that it is fate. And he's telling him that don't be such a nice guy in the future. I don't think his, I don't think our friend lessened this at all. Yep. I assure you, my brother, I will finish what I failed to do. All right. Let's go to check him out. Remember, you saved before this because the choice, again, can lead you to a bad ending. So if you do not read the pages, you don't have this option, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just ask, are you really a monster? You know, that senior brother said you are breaking seals, which might put Hua Feng to danger. I don't know, but what about this thing? And what, what exactly are you doing? Okay. And you are caught. This is not good. Your seals brought your fortune. Ah, that's why they were talking about it as punished by heaven. This cultivator put seals and damaged that village's feng shui. But then... We have to make a choice here between Zhou Bingwei and the senior brother. And this is an important choice. If you chose to prevent Zhou Bingwei, you will reach another bad ending. And before that, you would have to fight him. This guy is Golden Core, just to let you know. So be careful. Oh. So he was taken away by the senior brother. I mean, I what are you going to do with him? Okay, confined, that's it? Okay, that's okay. Don't you dare hurting him though. I might be doing the right thing, right? I'm protecting Hua Feng. But no. Apparently we reached the same bad ending. A monster was released, people dies. Exactly the same thing happened. Zhou Bing will release the thing. Apparently, I don't know how he escaped, but he released the thing, come back, join the fight, and then run away again. So it's exactly the same thing. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the previous one and directly say what on earth are you doing? And here let's, okay, it's the same thing. So we jump through and this time we choose to let him go. And now we will have to fight his senior brother. Not that big deal. Though. <laughs> okay. The monster has been released. I won't let you escape now. Okay. Uh, I am just seriously running away from it. Oh, so he 
turns back. He tells us that we can visit with his head, but he leaves. I guess he just come back to join the fight, just like in the other two bad, bad endings. <laughs> He's not that bad person, you know. And now we get an antique wood carving from the village head. But he tells us don't give it to him. Why though? Yeah, we know the feng shui is affected by the seal and disaster failed frequently. And Joven Wei came here, break the seals, sort of save the village. Because he won't find a clue. Hmm. Now what? What's your problem? Okay. Ah, a deployment lifespan. So it is that treasure you are talking about. It will harm. They will join the life essence of the one who dig them out. So the village head want to keep their savior, Zhou Yinwei, safe. So that's why he tells us to not give it to him. So, yeah. Now, again, we are in the final part of this quest. Again, it's well, again, these two, two different endings. Both are okay, good ending, let's say. One is better. <laughs> so safe again beforehand. Let's go back to Zhou Yinwei. And, ah, oh, he's wounded. He joined again the fight against the monster. I guess we can help them. I mean, well, since we are sort of responsible for releasing this monster as well. Ah, just kill it. It's just Cloud9 had to worry, come on. We killed one of these ones, break through the golden core. Is this really that painful for Huafeng? Not really that big deal, dude. Just break the seal and kill it. Yo, your action put Hua Feng in danger, really? A Hatui Bwari? No, don't kill him. Ah, okay. He's also reasonable. He does say that, yeah, we get rid of that thing, so I guess it's okay. Yes, there's no real bad person in this entire quest. But now, we can choose to give or give not him the clue. Let's first choose to conceal the clue, just like the village head told us. For his own good, right? But he's doubting our words. What are you going to do now? Ah, you won't harm them, that's good. You know that they lie to you for good intention. That's also good. You know you should really stop doing this now. <laughs> and he left. In this case, we will get this pale illusion root for ourselves. And now the thing is, what we can do, we can use this, but just like we have already knew, this won't be good for us, at least initially. Let's dig out the illusion root, I guess. And of course, it starts to draw the life essence from us. Okay, we get a golden illusion root, and we have this very bad destiny. <sighs> yeah, not good. So our health is greatly less. So we need to go to a place to rest. And also, one thing is important that we need to find that root. Where is it? Let's first go back to the town. Okay. And yeah, if we go think that we cannot hold much longer because our health is too less. But the main point is, no, no, not this. The main point is, yeah, we need to plant this illusion root ASAP because otherwise it'll keep joining assets from us. So if we plant this thing down, we will see a giant tree here. 
okay so it's this red tree here we chose to plant it you can also plant it near your sect for example and if you shake this tree you will get fruits yes skill fruits and it scales with your realm i'm at golden core so we get g4 if i do it come back and do it at you know transcendent or we'll get g1 reborn g1 so it's great it's a good thing for skill fruits right i mean you can't do it every month but maybe every year once kind of now the problem is skill fruits are good but we already have jade blossom shrine to do it so it's not something you desperately need and so you might consider choose a different ending so let's give Zhuo Bingwei this clue i know it's bad for him but you know people's life need to have a meaning it doesn't matter if it's bad or disaster for him but that is what he wants let's give it to him even though he might die if he dig it out yeah i mean if your entire life is chasing this one thing the morning you get your go the evening you can die that's what confucius said and it's the same thing we go back to here yeah please forgive what i've done to you you could still give up the plan i mean i forgive you So he took it out, and this time, this thing drained his life essence. This is illusion root. <laughs> you promise us the treasure. I mean, I don't want it. You dig it out, you take it. Why did you release the monster? Tell me everything. Okay. So you found a village. And he found the village was affected by the seal. So it's not he's not that he's trying to break the seals looking for the root. It's other way around. He already find the root. And he's just helping the village to break the seal because he thinks the seal is affecting the village and that is bad. Yeah, so our friend is not a bad person. Mm-hmm. And he already got all kind of clues how to make this monster weakened so that we can directly kill it once we break the seal. Yep. Indeed, his task kick was effective, and then we managed to kill it. And to be honest, it's just a Hatui worry though. Now he's talking about his own brother. That we already learned from his notes. Mm hmm. But his wishes are fulfilled. By the way, if you look at his life story, it's only 134. And that's because he drained, take out this thing and it, this two years thing is with him. And also he does lost, like, because normal golden course would have 200 life span. I mean, I don't want to take it. You sacrifice your life for it. Why can't you just keep it? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, this, this, that, that. I don't know. I don't trust you, to be honest. I think this is your still a lie from you. Because when I dig it out, I just need to plant it down again by myself. Oh, well. I guess we will trust, quote-unquote, trust what he says. He just want to give this thing to us. 
So yeah, let's just accept it. So this request, it doesn't really matter. He wants to plant it at his Swan Brothers death place. You can choose to say, yeah, I will plant somewhere else. It doesn't matter. But I guess we will just do as he said. I mean, why not? That's what he wanted. And it's not like that far away from the city, you know. And also, you can find this place from the map as well. So don't worry. Let's just plant it. So again, it grows into a giant tree. However, when you choose to do it this way, like, what's your plan for future? I guess that's a good thing, because he is happy. Farewell, brother. So, the tree is not that obvious from the map like this, right? But we can still find it. So, if we shake the tree's root, we will get fruit. But this time, not skill fruit. However, it's those root fruits. It's also quite useful. It will always be the highest root of yours for me, sword, in this time. And yeah, it will scale with your realm. If you go break through higher realm, you will have higher grade. So don't worry that you will get G4, you will get G1 later on. And yeah, you can find it from the map, so it's great. So I think this is probably the best ending, according to me. Yep, the Great Illusion Tree, Green Illusion Tree. The, if you choose this ending, later on you can still find this friend dropping away. And he will give you things from time to time, and even at a higher realm. So it's, I think that's another reason why I think it's a good ending. I do not know if you choose to plan it where you want it to be, whether he's still that happy or not. But I think it doesn't matter. Correct me if, if I'm wrong. This time he brought us some nice comprehension materials. And again, we met him again. He's talking about, you know, treasure stuff. He's enjoying his cultivation journey. Which is a great thing. I like to see him, you know, get out of his life burden. However, there's one thing that, yeah, is this when this happens. Basically, this time, he's asking you to go for exploration again. And be very careful to go there, because the, the enemy is difficult. Like, I'm Golden Core Middle, right? I died quite a few times just going through this. I think it's one realm higher than you. <laughs> but, okay, I'm talking about in chaos, right? If you're not playing kills, probably don't matter. But yeah, be careful with this. It was way much harder than I thought. Especially those you know, elite monsters. Like for example, you can see Dropping Way have already died. And I managed to win in the end this time. But yeah, it was difficult. But after this battle, we did get something good. Yeah, so we got this illumination thing again, and also a really a proper, a proper thing which can be useful for us to break through, instead of under realm things. Also, once you finish this, sometime when you go to the tower and drink wine, you will find him as well, and you can drink with him, and we will get a nice drink first of all, a nice friend. And also, this maximum HP plus 5% buff, which is nice. In fact, I'm thinking, come on, he's a nice person. I guess we should, you know, become brother, swarm brother with him. He lost one swarm, swarm brother, and he will get another one. Alright, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.